let's break down the Void Rig resources by planet. And if you're looking for something specific, make sure to look at the timestamps. Make sure you have your mining drill and your fishing spear equipped. On the planes of Eidolons, we are looking for ores. Those are the red nodes on the rocks. It's better to find a cave, get in, pull out your mining drill and start mining. And here we're looking for 60 pyrol and 60 pharaohs. On the Valus we're again looking for ores, this time is 60 Travride and 40 Venor. There are two main caves that you can use for mining, one is right here with an entrance here and the other one right here. There is also deck 12 which is right here, but if you haven't done the Exploiter Orb yet, I am not sure if you'll have full access to the cave, because it's part of a kind of a quest. So here is one of the entrances that I was saying, right here, here, pull out your mining drill, again look for the red nodes on the rocks. From the Camion Drift we've got a lot to farm, there are ores, gems, fish pieces and some more resources. Starting with the, the plain surface. We're gonna need 60 Namalon, 60 Adramalium, 60 Baphylite, 40 Tomica. Those are the ores. For the gems, it's 12 Necrotine, 6 Ambulos, and 6 Xenorast. As for the fish parts, we have 4 Biotic Filters, 5 Cranial Four Mounts, and 15 Spinal Core Sections. There's also a resource here called Lucent Terror Globe, which you're gonna need 135. One of the ways that you can farm everything is to go for the Requiem Pylons, which I got a video on, which you're gonna basically use your operator to activate them, and then after the pylon hits the enemies, you can use your amp to kill affected enemies, or if you have your amp is bad, you can use Excalibur Umbra, his Spectre, when you, when you enter the operator mode, he's gonna attack enemies, and just as the amp, his skills are gonna make the enemies drop resources. You can get, I think, everything from the list. Another resource source is the containers, but I don't think you can get everything from them. You can get most of the resources, but really not everything, especially, I think, the gems. There you can see some resources. Okay, here you got a pylon, shoot the pylon, enemies are gonna start spawning. The only thing, if you're gonna use Excalibur Umbra, be ready because he's not even close to consistent as your amp is. So that is uh, something that's not great. And as they, they're affected by the pylon, they're killed, you'll see the resources being dropped. You just gotta harvest them. And that's pretty much how it goes. On the video, the specific video for the pylons, there are which ones are the best ones to look for. So make sure to look at that. But what if you want to actually go and manually farm them, mining and fishing? For mining, there is this entrance right here, right outside Necrolisk, which is actually a great place for mining. There is a bunch of nodes here. Just remember that the Necrotine, the Ambalos and the Xenorast come from the blue one because those are the gems and you'll find uh, just a bunch of them in here so you just gotta get to work as for fishing in here you're gonna have to equip the right spear which is this one and this one because they can actually penetrate the Exocrine, which is the kind of water that's in here when the fishes are not actually floating But yeah, it can be done, but I, I still prefer to just farm the pylons. I mentioned farming the containers and it's Best to have a frame with a good amount of AOE and also to equip a mod called greedy pole That will allow you to pull the loot to you So you can just go around use your AOE and just greedy really pull everything to you. 
Zaku with a bunch of range, some efficiency is really good. Another option is Limbo. And then just go around breaking containers and pulling the loot to you. Another thing you're gonna spend a good amount of time is running the isolation vaults. And probably the best frame to run the isolation vaults is Necros, or just to have one in your group, because you can desecrate the dead Necromex in the vault and get extra pieces from them. I think the big deal here is to just not, don't go alone. Going in a group is much easier, especially as the, the tiers increase. Tier 3 isolation vault is just kind of hard to go solo. For starters. And from the isolation vaults on the last part, where you actually fight the Necromex, one of the resources we need is the Scintillant. We'll need two Scintillant. And one of the ways you can get it is one from Necromex when you kill them, and the other one is you can actually find them floating around. As for killing these dudes, I've got a video on that. Right from killing the mechs, we also get the matrixes, which we can trade for the mech parts. Here you can see I got a scintillant, a damaged necromech weapon pod. If I didn't got, like, a, let's say a part that I needed from the mech, I can turn in matrixes for standing and then trade them for the parts. There we go, we got casing, weapon pod, we got scintillant, matrix, some lucent terror globe. Another good source of the lucent terror globe is to open the vault, which you can do by activating the reactive crystal, defending OTAC, and then doing a little puzzle. Got a haste back here, remember the sequence. Faz, Yahoo, Vo, and Look. With the vault open on the sides, you'll find this. I didn't even read the name, just use some AoE and you'll get some Lucent Terra Globe. And also from here good amount back on necrolisk you want to go to otak and we're gonna need to buy some blueprints to craft our gems so what you need stellated necrotine blueprint atomic desolate blueprint cabocon embolos blueprint trapezium xenaras blueprint tempered baphylite blueprint adramal alloy blueprint and evolved Namelon blueprint. These are all the ones you're gonna need to build your Necromech. Set about the parts, Lloyd, Operator, go in, and here you'll trade your matrixes for standing, and to browse wares you can get the damaged parts. If you don't have them, you can just buy them here for some standing, they're not expensive. Other than that, you're gonna need some more resources that you can get from various planets. That's gonna be 480 Robido, 6.6k Plastids, and 2 Gallium. And again, as I said and the last time I made a video like this on how to farm the Void Rig, if you haven't gotten one of the parts that you need from, from the Necromex, from the damaged parts, Add me in game, send me a PM, if you don't have the standing or the stuff, I can just get some for you. That's it, leave it a like, subscribe, and peace.